Hi guys, welcome in a new episode of Stevens Week, the weekly update on marketing technology and customer experience. Welcome in this new episode, my friends. The retail world is, is moving like crazy. Uh, we had a lot of things going on in the last few weeks. Uh, and now there's a new um, rumor in the market, and that's that JD, which is the big competitor of Alibaba, and JD is also owned by Tencent in China. JD wants to expand internationally. They have pretty big growth ambitions, and they want to continue that growth, not just in China, but in other markets. And one of the markets that they're targeting is the US. And uh, Walmart actually has a 12% stake in JD. And now there's this rumor that Walmart and JD would work together to make sure that Walmart could boost its e-commerce performance, maybe use the unmanned stores of, uh, of JD. And that could help Walmart again to fight against the big giant on their local market, Amazon. And, and this is really interesting to see how local US companies now seek the help of Chinese tech players to fight against Amazon. And I think the JDs of this world and the Alibabas of this world, they think it's pretty awesome because it gives them a feet, it gives their feet on the ground in, uh, in the US, uh, which expands the Chinese power of technology in the world. Waimu, the driverless car division of uh, Google is ordering hundreds and maybe thousands of new Chrysler minivans. And they are speeding up the, the rollout of the driverless car sharing program. So as you know, a few months ago, they started with the fully unmanned driverless car service in Arizona, and they're gonna speed that up. So they're officially now the first fully autonomous car driving service in the world. The market of smart speakers is booming in the US. There are now 45 million installed, which is huge, and which is double the amount of June last year. So they doubled their installed base in six months, and 75% of this market is going to Amazon and 25% is going to Google. Google Flights developed an AI that can predict if your flight will be delayed, and then they will inform you about that. So that's a pretty neat service that uh, if you're in a rush and you're running through the airport like crazy, it's always a disappointment then when you discover that your flight is delayed. So now Google will alert you about this, and they will only alert you if there's an 80% certainty. And uh, what I find really funny is that um, they will look at historic data to predict that. So they're, they're improving their algorithm. They're gonna use machine learning and historic data to predict if your flight will be delayed. And with an 80%, when there's an 80% chance of being delayed, they will let you know. Isn't that fantastic that Google is helping us with that? Oh, and by the way, there is news from Google in Belgium. I'm from Belgium, so I like to share some Belgium news. They're opening up their third data center. This is gonna create 1,200 new jobs on the Belgian market. So thank you, Google, for that as well. It was results season this week of the tech companies. Apple, Google, Facebook, and Amazon shared their results of the last quarter. Um, in summary, Apple and Google, they disappointed a little bit. They couldn't fulfill the, the big expectations. Uh, of course, they are still selling billions and billions and billions of dollars, but it's a little bit less than what the analysts were hoping for. Uh, big winner is Amazon that is growing like crazy, that had a fantastic uh, quarter. Um, and also Facebook, uh, there were some doubts because Mark Zuckerberg announced that he would change the, the Facebook feed. And it had some impact, uh, the, the biggest impact that people spent less time on Facebook than in the past. And he is not sad about this because it is something that they did on purpose. They don't just want people to spend time on Facebook. They want to spend good time on Facebook. So he was hoping that people would you know, spend less time watching viral videos and connect more with their friends and families. And this is working out. So people spend less time on Facebook. Uh, the growth of the user base is slowing down, but it's still growing. They got about 2 billion um, users per month now. WhatsApp got 1.5 billion users. And um, but Facebook is still a gold mine. They have beaten the revenue expectations big time. And uh, you see that even though it's a different feed, it has still a huge potential for advertisement. And they are convinced that this is only the beginning and that there are more opportunities coming uh, for the platforms to, to gain and grow in the world of advertising. So guys, this was my weekly update. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're approaching the 10,000 subscribers. So if you know someone that should see this video, please tag their names uh, in the comments below. That would be fantastic. Enjoy your weekend and see you again next week. Bye-bye.